<laughs> uh, speaking of uh, deliveries of things, well we've done. Got the, uh, well done. The uh, Modelo Y Griega, or M- Model Y, for those that don't speak Griega? Spanish. Griega? Y Griega. Y Griega? Mm-hmm. That's the Spanish word for Y? It's the letter Y, yep. Oh, okay. X is X, Y, and Z. So, or Z. That's far too many syllables. I know. I know. It's like Izquierda and for left. Izquierda. Right? Yep. Yeah. Derecho, yep. Izquierda. Mm-hmm. Derecho. Now, As derecho I'm pointing right. Izqui- yeah. <laughs> derecho means right, which this is something that always confused me about. Sp- this is a Spanish tangent. You're going to have to Spanish wait for the tangent. Model Y news, okay? Pe- tangento. Tangento. Yeah. 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 Um, is it, it's really interesting when Spanish words not just have the same uh, when they translate to something in, in English, but then the second meaning of that word also is the same. I always was fascinated by that. Hmm. So, like in English, we have uh, this is my right hand, I'm going to turn right. Mm-hmm. Uh, also, I have rights mm-hmm. as a citizen. Those all the derecho means all those same things as well in Spanish. So you'll see at the bottom of like a website or something like uh, todos derechos reservados, like all rights reserved. Right. And I'm like, I, and I'm reading it going, oh, derechos, like it really means the same thing. Like it's always fascinating to me. Like, wait a minute. Because how, how is it that the same word happened to mean, it just seems like a weird coincidence. So Languages just kind of interbreed and. It's fascinating. Take I love, uh, what is other. it? Is it called, is it called et- etymology or something? Like the study of language, how it. Oh. Uh, I will draw a blank on that one right now. All right. Not drawing a blank are Model <laughs> Y reservation holders. And uh, reportedly from our friends at the Tesla Rotties, uh, Tesla Model Y customers confirm delivery dates for this Friday, March 13th. Friday the 13th. What a lucky mm. day. Um and if you're listening to this, that's and you're not one of our patrons listening live in Discord, uh, that this probably is Friday, March 13th, when you're listening to it. So, hallelujah. That's awesome. So, somebody um, posted on some things, some Facebook groups, which I always, you know, I'm skeptical when it's like, there was a thing recently about somebody on Reddit that said, oh, I got confirmation delivery this Wednesday. And then, boom, article goes up. You click on the guy's thing on Reddit, account deleted. You're like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so <clears throat> I wouldn't be shocked if if, uh, if employees are getting them or maybe have already got them delivered. Uh, but here we are, 10 a.m. this Friday for uh, someone that posted in the model. Why? Um, this is uh, West Coast deliveries, but also people in Canada are receiving confirmation. So there's lots of photos out there of uh, hundreds of Model Ys on uh, on trucks making their way down to the to the SoCal's. Uh, interestingly enough, most of the units here were the performance variants um, with these uh, Uber Tyne wheels, which Uber turbine, the, Uber turbine, Uber <laughs> <laughs> Um. I don't know how you say it. How do you say that? You kind of went into a Swedish chef mode for a second there. Herpaderp. So if you look at the uh, okay, so if I'm just I'm on the mo- mo- I'm on the Model Y order page, you have these 20 inch induction wheels. Mm. Pretty sweet, I actually. Yeah, really I like, like those. these. Um, and then if you go performance then you uh, can add a performance upgrade. And see, and then that's where these uh, Uber Turbine, Uber Turbine. <laughs> um, or actually, it, was, it has an umlaut, so wouldn't that be yeah. Uber? Ah, I never know what that means. Because oo is just the normal sound of a U. U, I don't know, man. <laughs> Our language is weird. English is such a, like, how are there never accents over letters except for randomly like this? And it basically just confuses the hell out of all of us. Anyways. I'm actually glad because I never can figure out how to put those on there when I have to put them on on a computer. Yeah. Tildes and whatnot. <clears throat> the only ones I do are when I'm uh, typing in Spanish uh, right. because uh, they do mean. <laughs> it can change the meaning of the word. Uh, so if you look up Ano, A-N-O, like Felice Ano, is not the same as Felice Año, which is has an Enye. Mm-hmm. And if you guys go translate that, you'll 
have a quick laugh. So there you go. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll not do that. I'll I save you. Translated in my head. Student. Yeah. So uh, if you add the performance upgrade here, which is what does it add? Two thousand dollars. Wait. How is it not changing the price? Okay. Hmm. So you can Maybe add a performance. Else, no? That's really strange. It used to be. I thought this was an additional two thousand dollars. Oh, maybe because I already clicked on the other. Oh, there we wait. I don't know <laughs> what is going on, Tesla. They're cha- let me guess. They're changing the price yet again, uh, and someone's gonna yell at me because my calculator isn't updated. It's like they change it every day. I can't be uh-huh. bothered. So those wheels kind of look like those other ones, don't they? Mm-hmm. They're just bigger. Uh, Twenty-one inch wheels, man. I would not do this. Uh, I guess for the performance person that doesn't care about range, because look, you go from 315 miles, which it says an EPA estimate, so hopefully that's that's more real, to 280 miles. That's a pretty big hit. Hmm. But I guess if you're getting the performance car, you're not getting it for utility. Yeah. Your your focus isn't like long range driving or anything. So. So anyways, uh, if you're curious about trying to get yours early and you have an extra, I don't know, $9,000 or whatever it costs for the upgrade there, uh, that may be a a good tip for you. So looks like I'm going to be doing some push-ups here pretty soon as well. Mm -hmm. Still hasn't happened yet, but I hope it happens, and I hope I have to do push-ups. So it's 100, right? Yep. And you do like 150 on a normal day, so you're actually going to... Slack. I'm gonna scale for a day scale for that. back. Oh, okay. Yep. I remember when I was working at uh, this uh, this uh, online education company, we had to fill out a uh, a form for some health thing about like our daily routines, blah blah blah. And at the time, I was super into CrossFit and like just just <laughs> crushing it, you know. And it was like, how many uh, h- how many days a week do you exercise? I'm like six. And it's like, oh, okay, well, how far do you uh, run during those times? I'm like, probably three to five miles every time. And then, okay, our recommendations are to uh, walk, go for, uh, you know, two-mile <laughs> walks three days a week. I'm like, so you want me to scale back by, like, a huge amount? And I, I emailed them. I'm like, this is the dumbest thing ever. And they're like, oh, sorry. we. Uh, I'm like, your thing says artificial intelligence machine learning. And you basically have, like, an if-then-else statement and I bet uh, it like ninety percent of the people just recommends the same crap. Yeah. Marketing. Marketing. So model wise <laughs> happening. You you broke the system with your with your biceps. <laughs> I know. I know. Or or like, you know, uh the idea is everyone always wants to lose weight. Unless you're like really, really thin and can't put on weight, then you don't want to lose weight. So what does your system say about that? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. Yeah. More we burgers. need smarter things. Oh, speaking my language. <laughs> so are you you're not getting a model y right i think tim mm, is no nah. yeah no nah. yeah i mean no nah. i can <laughs> i can see why tim wants one though because he travels a lot and he has a lot of equipment and all that you know that makes sense it um, makes a lot of sense yeah i'm i'm more the kind of person that buys a car and just kind of keeps it for a long time you know unless unless something goes wrong or it's not meeting my needs anymore or something you know Right. But. Yeah, I think we're going to, the plan currently is to sell the X and then have the Y, and then I'll drive the Model 3 as a daily driver, and Jenny will have the Model Y as her kind of forever car, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I always say that, and then like a year later, I'm like, ah, let's get a new one. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I, I really am looking at and would love a Model S, though, eventually. But I'm not going to like go buy a newer Model 3 or something like that than mine. Like I don't see yeah. the, the benefit at all. Is so. she getting excited about the the why, having no. a forever car? <clears throat> no, 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 no. She doesn't care. She's uh <laughs> she hates the Model X. Absolutely hates it. Uh, and so the only this will be a better than the Model X for her, uh, when she has to drive it. Mm-hmm. Um, but she doesn't care. She's just not a car person. She's like yeah. a very normal person. That's like, oh, it's a car, you know. Yeah. And the fact that it's so similar to the Model Three, it'll just be like slightly better than the model three to her so mm-hmm. she's like okay you know it's funny like in this niche in this community of people that really really dig deep there's probably people that are like 
just fanatical about oh it has the you know uh flex circuit this and the yeah. dry electrode batteries that and all the super detailed stuff but to the average consumer nobody cares right nobody really ca- it's like the steve jobs thing right like no one cares how many gigabytes your ipod can have they just want to know how many songs it can store mm-hmm. that's all that matters so i think there's a lot of that when we get into these things right like i love geeking out on that stuff but i don't really talk about it on my videos because Generally, I'm trying to show the world and tell people about, look how awesome these cars are, and I'm not gonna, I'm gonna lose everybody if I go off in some tangent about, <laughs> yeah. you know, why this battery technology is better because to the general population they do not care. All they want to know is does it work, right? Mm-hmm. And is it better and whatever. So, will it get me there? Yeah. So, uh, so I would say, you know, Jenny's very much in that camp of like, okay, oh, so it has basically the same range, okay. Uh, it looks basically the same on the inside, and you know drives very similarly. Okay, how about the? the but it has a, it has an automatic trunk and uh, hatchback. Okay, that's good. Like, the, like those are things she would be you know as yeah. excited about. Everything else is like, don't care. So yeah, and I think that's true. I think most people are like that. Yeah, as long as it fits yeah. their needs and doesn't leave them stranded on the side of the road, they're they're good. Hey, thanks for checking us out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our podcast. We do a weekly show here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe to Our Ludicrous Future, where we discuss all the things that are going to make our future totally ludicrous. You can join us here on YouTube or at any of your favorite podcast places. Plus, if you want to get some behind-the-scenes stuff and join a cool community, you can help support the channel at patreon.com. Thanks a lot. Thanks, guys.